Yeah, he's actually, I, I went back there and checked on him uh, right after the game. He's surprisingly moving around relatively well. I, I thought the way that looked uh, that it was going to be something that was fairly drastic. But uh, he's walking around the training room doing deep knee bends and lunges, and he's got a little swelling in the ankle. Uh, but, you know, I'm somewhat optimistic he avoids a BL stint the way he's moving around right now. Like when it happened immediately, I thought there was no way in the world. Uh, but he's moving around respectably well right now. I don't think he's in the lineup tomorrow or available tomorrow, but like we'll see where he is when he wakes up tomorrow. Sometimes a swelling, 24, 48 hours uh, can blow up on you. But he's he's sprained that ankle pretty good a few times in his life, and I think you get a little bit of laxity in it when you've done it a few times. And so he's got like rebounds quicker than if it's the first time. So uh, we're hoping he's okay. No, I don't. I, I don't think he's hurt this ankle before with us this season. I think it's the first time he's hurt that ankle. So he obviously stepped pretty awkwardly on the base, and uh, just glad that he's looking like he's got a fighting chance to be a part of us in the next few days. Uh, you know, we didn't help him out. I mean, I think the first thing you look at is that third inning. Uh, he tries to finish Prado off with a breaking ball. I think on that pitch, like the intent is to bounce it. Like his breaking ball is not a zone breaking ball with two strike. He's got to get beneath the zone. That's what he's trying to do. He left it in the zone. Prado hit it out after that. We had the opportunity to get him out of the inning. Didn't do it. Uh, had the double play ball. It's like two days in a row we've had a chance, and it's really hurt us. And those guys are out there giving everything they have. I think Rosie was trying to be quick on Real Muto, who runs like extraordinarily well for a catcher. So he's trying to make sure he gets a double play out of it. Uh, I think he started trying to pivot it before he caught it. So. Uh, that hurt. After that, I think Colin just kind of caught the middle of the zone a little too much. Some guys had good swings on him. They're a very good offensive club. Uh, he's a good offensive club, as we've seen all year, like top to bottom. You look at the numbers, the guys hitting 300 all over the place. So uh, they're a good club, and you make mistakes in the zone, they can hurt you. I mean, it affects anybody in a sense. Uh, like You have an opportunity to get out an inning, you roll the ball, that's saying – Darren Balsley goes out there to kind of give him a like a advice on what pitches to throw to roll up a double play. That's what we're talking about in the dugout because we need it desperately right there. And uh, he gets the ball, and he's you know, probably pretty optimistic we turn that because we usually do. And I think it hurt. I think anybody would tell you that hurt. Yeah, I mean, they weren't, uh, other than Prado, they weren't hitting him out of the yard. So it's, I mean, like they're hitting balls on the line. So if you don't execute your pitches with guys at this level, they're, they're going to hurt you. And, uh, you know, Colin had a few opportunities with some two strike counts that he couldn't finish the at bat on. I think that hurts too. You get the chance to get put guys away and uh, unable to either execute the pitch or they fouled off some good pitches. Uh, they battled They battled well offensively, like all through the night against all of our pitchers. So. Uh, I'm not sure what the velo was on the first pitch. It didn't make it up on the screen. Uh, but he uh, you know, he got out of there. Uh, he did well. I mean, it's a live arm still with relatively zero pitching mechanics. So uh, just the arm whipping through the zone. So not many people can stand up there and throw 95 like they're on a speed pitch at a carnival. But he does it pretty easily.